Welcome back to Miss Jessica's Fairy Tale Story Time. Last week we did Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We are actually going to continue that kind of story time, but this time I'm going to read to you Goldilocks and the Three Hares. Um, and then we will move on to another fairy tale. So in this particular fairy tale, instead of having three bears with Goldilocks, we are going to have three rabbits. But in this particular story, they call it three hares. So as you can see on the front cover, there is Goldilocks and the three rabbits, which they call three hares. And there's a little carrot on the um, chair because, of course, rabbits love carrots. And the book is by Heidi Patak. And the interesting thing about this particular book is on the bottom, on almost every page, are some mice. And the mice have their very own dialogue, and they're actually very, very funny. So I hope you enjoy this book as much as I do. And on the bottom, on the cover, it says, Why did they bother to put the author's name on the cover? Nobody will be able to pronounce it anyway. And who picked that title? You know, we're in the book more than those guys. How about Goldilocks and the eight mice? Eight mice? Oh, sounds good to me. Oh, yikes, it's a weasel. Now on the title page, here's Goldilocks and the three hares. It says, I can't hold this pose much longer. When will the title page be over? Keep smiling. They'll turn the page soon. Put, put, put em. Toss it, Grandpa. Uh, Grosser? Okay, so here's our story. Once upon a time, there were three hares that lived in a cozy hole in the woods. There was a great big papa hare, a medium-sized mama hare, and a teeny tiny baby hare. Hey, we're rabbits, not hares. I know, dear, but maybe the artist doesn't know how to paint them. Rabbits are cuter than hares. Three hares? What? Three bears? Oh, I thought it was the tortoise and the hare. Yes, yes, read that one instead. Shh. <laughs> they, okay, here we go. They each had a bowl for their oatmeal. The papa bear had a great big bowl. The mama bear had a medium sized bowl and the baby bear had a teeny tiny bowl. What's that awful smell? The oatmeal burned again. Why can't we just have a microwave like everybody else? Yes, I want to see an egg explode. Do you think cheese could explode? Sure, kablam, instant cheddar meltdown. Careful or you'll see a parent explode. And that is not a pretty sight. I can't eat this stuff, let's go eat out. Sounds good to me. Yay! I want a soft taco and bean dip and a burrito and a McCarrot and... So the three hares decided to go out for breakfast. Why don't we ever burn the oatmeal so we can eat out? Right? Let's go to Mouse of Pancakes. And here keeps going baby hair. And a pizza with mushrooms and extra cabots. And this says, the three rabbits, mm, the three hares. And off they sped in their van. Meanwhile, a little girl named Goldilocks came bouncing down the forest path. Actually, it's my ball that's bouncing down the path. Oops, not anymore. Her hair has a lot of bounce. Why don't we call her Bouncy Locks? She peered down the hole, but she couldn't see her ball. Wow, what a hole in the ground this place is. Goldilocks? It's more like nosy locks, if you ask me. Let's tell the story of our laundry. We can call it Moldy Socks and the Three Hairs. <laughs> Uh-oh, here she goes. Oops, this hole sure is a doozy. Doozy, what kind of word is that? Who wrote this story anyway? Maybe the author is related to the artist who can't paint hairs. Who says I can't paint hair? Goldilocks' hair is great. This story is full of holes. 
Did you say this story is full of moles? Anybody home? Ugh, what's that awful smell? See, this story is about our laundry after all. No, the smell is coming from their kitchen. In the kitchen of the three hares, Goldilocks found the three bowls, the great big bowl, the medium-sized bowl, and the teeny tiny bowl. Hmm, three bowls of burnt oatmeal. Hey, you want a bowl? Sure. What made you think of that? Well, I wonder if she's going to eat it. <laughs> Yo, I guess she is. Goldilocks tasted the oatmeal in the great big bowl. It was too hot. Then she sampled the oatmeal in the medium-sized bowl. It was too cold. Huh, ice cubes. Hey, the illustrations are getting smaller with a lot of white space around them. That's called spot art. The artist is showing a spot of laziness. Laziness? You want to see more spot art? Now look what you've done. I've got the measles. You see, she put little spots all over him. Weasels! Finally, Goldilocks tried the oatmeal in the teeny tiny bowl, and it was just right. So she gobbled it all up. Mmm, burnt cinnamon raisin, my favorite. Weasels, run for your lives! Quick, up here, hide under the chair. Hurry, Grandpa. What, me worry? I think I'll have breakfast on the run today. The Goldilocks. Then Goldilocks wandered into the family room and saw three chairs. A great big chair, a medium sized chair, and a teeny tiny chair. So of course, first she went into the big chair. A recliner, I've always wanted to try one of these. Give up, I know you're in there mice. How can you tell? We're being quiet as... Oof! Shh! <laughs> They're giving away their location. Then the great big chair was too hard to figure out. Ah! Snap! So Goldilocks hobbled over to the medium-sized chair. This looks more my speed. What is that awful smell? Ooh, what hit me? The medium-sized chair went too fast. Whoever owns this chair is off their rocker. And there's the weasel going, hot, 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 hot! Finally, Goldilocks sat down in the teeny tiny chair and it was just right. Wham! Ah! This one looks just crash, right? Look, the weasels are out cold. Cool, let's tie them up. Then Goldilocks decided to see what was upstairs. I hope they have computer games. Quick, maybe there's something upstairs we can use to tie those weasels up. Upstairs, Goldilocks found three beds, a great big bed, a medium-sized bed, and a teeny tiny bed. The weasels will wake up soon. Maybe we could sock them or shoo them away. First, she tried the great big water bed, but it was too hard to keep her breakfast down. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. I hate sick jokes. I'm sick of them, too. You know who's really sick? It's the illustrator. Next, Goldilocks tried the medium-sized bed, and it was too soft. Oh, I'm being smothered. Nothing to tie them with under here, but there are dust bunnies the size of elephants under here. Tusk, tusk. Finally, she tried the teeny tiny bed and it was just right. It had better be right this time or I'm going to end up in the hospital. 
This chest is our last hope. Quick, prop open the top. Yo, heave ho! Soon Goldilocks was fast asleep. <sighs> yo, yo's, we're saved! Heave ho! We'll tie up those bozos with yo yo's. We'll throw them for a loop. Meanwhile, the three hares came home. Wow, looks like someone's broken in. Run next door and call 911. Here they come. Get ready. As soon as the police arrived, they checked the kitchen. Geese police to the rescue. We're going to check everything out. Police, somebody's been eating my oatmeal. Somebody's been eating my oatmeal too. Somebody's been eating my oatmeal and yay, it's all gone. What are you doing? We're checking the kitchen. Checkers, anyone? Hey, look. Next, they checked the family room. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Mine too. Mine three. Take a gander of this, Clarence. It's the famous mom and pop robber game, the Goes family. The Goes family? Oh, sure. Pop goes the weasel. But who tied up the yo-yos? He he not. Now, an undercover investigation of the beds revealed more. Officer, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Ooh, and it looks like somebody got sick too. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and there she is. Well, if it wasn't sleeping, beauty locks. <sniffs> Snort. Huh? Oh, wow. What a dream I've been having. But I'm here now, and you're here, and Auntie M, and Uncle Henry, and little Toto, too. There's no place like home, is there? We're off to see the wizard. Um, is this your niece, Mr. Hare? Well, we're not related. She's human, and we're rabbits. Rabbits? The title says that you're hares. Which one is it? Um, I'm sorry about the bed. I'll clean it up. And don't worry about Toto's chair. I'm handy with a glue stick. Would you like me to put it back together as a chair or turn it into a fort? I could come over tomorrow, Auntie M, and make French toast for breakfast. French toast? Ooh la la! French toast? Can you make it unburnt? Sure, and with powdered sugar or carrots on top, whatever you prefer. Um, I'd like cheese sprinkles, please. Let's go look at the police van. Well, that wraps it up. Weasels are getting a bum rap. Can you really make a fort? Sure, that's my forte. Um, Goldie, are you available for rabbit sitting? I was thinking about going back to work as a hairdresser. How early can you be here tomorrow? Be sure to send us a postcard. How long have you been impersonating a hare, Mr. Rabbit? Oh, here we go again. And then on the back cover, it says, eight mice. Actually, if you turn it around, you can see it better. Eight mice. It says, oops. It says, look. We're in the title after all. Yes, but why is it on the back cover and upside down? I'll bet the author with the weird name did this. Yes, I did it, and my name is not weird. It's pronounced p Tack. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed Goldilocks and the Three Hairs. And stay tuned for next week. I will have another fairy tale for you, and it's a funny one. Bye-bye, everybody.